Let's look at the operations and the in and out adjustments of the hydraulic through frame slide out system. Now we verify that the batteries are fully charged and fully operational and that we have made sure that there's no travel locks on the system. So let's extend that room all the way out. Now when the room is fully extended, that's called your out stop. Now if the inner fascia isn't sealed properly on the inside of the unit, you can adjust the travel by adjusting these two jam nuts. So what I'll do is I'll run the room in just a little bit to get some room. There you go. Now what we'll do is we will loosen these jam nuts up. There you go. We'll loosen that up. Now, depending upon how it's not sealed, we'll move these jam nuts in or out, um, depending upon the situation. For this situation, I'm going to tighten it up a little bit give that room a little bit more travel and then tighten those jam nuts up. Now we'll run the room all the way out and see if that seals. Now my interface is sealed up against the unit properly and I'm good to go. Now we're going to fully retract the room until the outer fascia is sealed against the unit. Now, if the room isn't sealed, you can adjust this by adjusting this nylock nut right here on the hydraulic actuator. Now, in order to adjust this nylock nut, we'll extend the room out a little bit, give that some room. Now, hold the jam nut with a wrench and adjust the nylock nut until you get a proper outer seal. So, I'll just adjust this a little bit. and run that all the way in until it's sealed. Now after you retract the room completely and one of the sides of the room isn't sealed but the other is, then you're gonna need to resync the room. And you do this by the adjustable head assembly found on the idler arm. This arm does not have a drive mechanism on it Loosen the bolts on the idler arm and push or pull the room to align with the drive side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tighten those bolts back up and you're good to go. If you're not getting a proper seal on the top or bottom of the room, you're gonna to wanna to do a vertical adjustment. So step one, we're going to measure between this outer arm here and the bottom of the room. And we're gonna do that measurement as close to the I-beam as possible. So let's take that measurement and I get five and an eighth. And I'll write that down. Next, we're going to, for step number two, we're going to measure between this inner arm and the bottom of the room. And we're gonna do that as, as close to the head assembly as possible. And for this, I get five and five eighths. Now, to be within tolerance, these two have to be within a quarter. So we'll, we'll subtract Step two from step one, and we get one half. Now to be within tolerance, this measurement here needs to be one quarter or less. So now we know that the distance between the bottom of the room and the inner and outer arms 
is not within tolerance and we need it to be closer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna loosen up these carriage bolts on the head assembly. It's recommended to mark head assemblies to use as a reference during adjustments. Now that, that the room bar is loose from the head assembly, now we're going to loosen up the jam nut here. Once that's loose, now we're going to have to loosen this bolt, which, which lowers the room down. Once you have that, you're gonna tighten up this jam nut. And once you're good with that, you're gonna retake those measurements. We have, now we have a five and a quarter and five and a half. And now we're within that quarter inch tolerance. Now, next, you're going to tighten up these carriage bolts. Now that this side is done, you'll repeat all of those steps on this side and make sure that that quarter inch tolerance is adhered to. Now that your head assemblies have been adjusted and you're within that quarter inch tolerance, you're gonna wanna check and make sure that the seal at the top and bottom of the room is adjusted properly. And you do this by running your room out and running it back in. Now when the room comes back in, you're going to um, notice that the top of the room touches the unit first. And as you can see, there's a gap here where I, I pulled the room out and then I brought it back in and stopped it right when it touched the room. You can see that gap there. This is before the, the bottom seal actually seals. But I wanted to show you that because that is normal and th that's the adjustment that you're gonna want to check after you adjust these uh, head assemblies. So I'm going to pull that back in. Now you can see that it's sealed all the way along the top and bottom and that's correct. Next we're going to do our horizontal room adjustment and you're going to do this adjustment when the room itself isn't centered in the opening of the unit. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure from the outside wall of the unit to the inside wall of the room itself. So we're gonna do that and measure that. And then we're going to measure the other side in the same exact spot. So the room is actually off center a little bit like an eighth of an inch to the right in this opening. So I'm gonna make that horizontal room adjustment. And to do that, we're gonna loosen these carriage bolts here on both head assemblies. Once the carriage bolts are loose, you can manually push the room to where it needs to be. And you keep those bolts loosened and then we're gonna measure again. Same spot. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now the room is centered in the opening of the unit. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to tighten down the carriage bolts and make sure that the room is tight to the head assemblies.